It's the biggest time of year in basketball, the NBA playoffs. Big times call for big support for the big teams. So who are the biggest super fans in the NBA playoffs? Hmm, let's find out. NBA action. It's just as fantastic as ever. And what makes it fantastic? You, the fans. But we want to know who are the biggest super fans in the NBA. So we're asking you to do the work for us. All you've got to do is send in a text message that may or may not be free. Send your text in and help us in our search for the NBA super fan. Proceeds will go to underprivileged small market franchises. Want to vote for the biggest LA Clippers super fan? Send your text in right now for the commish, David Stern. That's right, because the commissioner would love to see a successful small market team, especially one he helped to build. I mean, Los Angeles is kind of small. Text the number on your screen right now to vote for Indiana Pacers super fan Dwight Howard. That's right, Dwight Howard's rooting for the Pacers because if the Magic wins, he's stuck with Stan Van Gundy forever. I'll tell you this, you didn't see Dwight send no congratulations tweet after game one either. You notice that? There wasn't no way to go, fellas. Hold it down for me. Or he's gonna have to ask for a trade. Let's see if we get any tweets from Dwight Howard like, go get him next game, fellas. I'm right behind you. That's a lot of options for Dwight. Cause he ain't right behind him. He's like, man, I sure hope they lose. It's not too late to send your text for the biggest Lakers fan of all, Kobe. Because nobody wants the Lakers to win more than Kobe. Because nobody wants Kobe to win more than Kobe. And Kobe wants Kobe to win way more than the Lakers. What's that called, syllogism? Send a text right now for OKC Thunder head coach Scotty Brooks, the number one New York Knicks fan on the planet. He's rooting for the Knicks or anybody else Miami might play because as soon as they win a championship, everybody's going to look at him and try to figure out if he knows what he's doing. Who's next? Uh, we got the Atlanta Hawks. And who did I put down? Uh... That's what you put, you just wrote, uh... <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Wanna send a text for the Atlanta Hawks super fan? Well, go ahead and do that and you just might win. Cause we don't see anybody at the games rooting for them. If we talk about the Hawks, at least Hawks get fans of people from other cities to come to their games. The Hawks will fill up the joint. Hook a crook, the place will be full. Miami, not quite the same. Who's rooting for the Boston Celtics like nobody else? Not Tommy Heinsohn. Uncle Tommy and Uncle Johnny and every other old man in the United States of America. You love your uncle? Send a text in to vote for him now. Old heads that were rooting against Larry Bird to the death love the Celtics like they own stock in the thing. It's amazing how for a whole generation of cats, the Celtics went from not representing them at all to now being the embodiment of their livelihoods. Send your vote now for the biggest fans of the Bulls. Who's rooting for the Chicago Bulls? All those people who prefer college because they love team basketball. Send your texts in for those losers now. Bulls ain't winning shit. <laughs> well, people get this. I think their chemistry will be just fine. This is about physics. <laughs> the physics are getting your ass kicked. They ain't gonna beat the Sixers. Sixers are a bunch of dudes just like they a bunch of dudes. After that, it's over. They get so much bench scoring, like you get double points for the bench, right? <laughs> no, you just score. <laughs> South has got a team full of uncles and you know it. I could, I could run this down. Like it was better when they had Perk, but KG, the crazy uncle that nobody wants any part of. You don't actually know if he can fight, but it's not really worth it for you to figure this part out. Ray Allen's that uncle that no matter what, rain or shine, six o'clock in the morning, Ray Allen's waking you up doing jumping jacks. I wouldn't be surprised if Ray Allen's never lifted a weight in his life. He just knows all the ill calisthenics. Rondo's the uncle like I'd be the uncle. The little, little brother, way younger than everybody else, and nobody can quite figure out how to hang with him. So he feels uncle-ish, but he's not really an uncle. Oh, and of course, Paul Pierce, who's had an uncle game since he was 19. That was the whole thing with Paul Pierce in the draft. People like, I don't know if you want to take him. He's not very explosive, da, da, da. You didn't know if his uncle game would translate. He just found his place, 
kept on going up. He's also good for the classic uncle move of pretending to be more hurt than he actually is. Dude, team knee brace, team uncle, however you want to spell it. That's Boston Celtics.